What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, gonna do a video today, I got a lot to talk about. First thing, public enemy number one is these Asterina starfish. Number one, they're a problem for me because they eat zoas, they eat pallies, you know, they eat one of my favorite corals, these little bastards eat coralline. You know, you see them in your tank and you may think, oh look, cool, I got a little starfish. But, what you should be doing is exterminating them, pulling them out and uh just get rid of them they are no good you know i see a lot of you people with them and they come out at night mine are so bold that they're coming out and during the daytime and whenever i see them i go ahead and pull them out i have a set of 20 inch tweezers tongs i picked them up from amazon uh and i use them i use them all the time and that's what i use to pull out the asterina starfish but the best way to get rid of them is with the use of a harlequin shrimp now i was going to go ahead and order them online i was searching all over the place to see who actually had some harlequin shrimp and the people that had some was uh sea creatures so i'm gonna just uh couldn't resist looking at their coral but i i got here and i went straight to the uh harlequin shrimp to see if they had them now i didn't say harley quinn harley quinn from the movie uh, that just came out. I said harlequin, harlequin shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like. Now I only picked up one harlequin shrimp due to the fact that uh, they were like 30 bucks each, and um, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna buy it because I need it. And uh, like I said, the reason why I need it is to protect my corals. So uh, lucky for me, I had uh, some money, so I went ahead and picked up one. Now, the thing about these harlequin shrimps is they eat starfish. So if you have starfish, you might not want to get one of these. But if you have those Asterina starfish, for sure get this because it will wipe them all out. Now, I'm trying to just buy one. Um, I think it might take some time. But the one harlequin shrimp, um, once it's done eating all the Asterina starfish, uh, you need to feed a chocolate chip starfish. They're so little starfish with it looks like Hershey Kishes on their uh, legs. Um, these are the tongs that I actually used. And uh, like I said, these little guys were so bold that they were coming out during the daytime. Um, so if you have some, this is what they look like. I have my little collection of these guys. But primarily they will come out at nighttime, uh, 11 o'clock or so. So when it's night time to go to bed, you'll see them all over your tank. And then you might say, you know what, I don't really care. I'm an SPS type person. Well, let me tell you something. Check out the damage that these little bastards did to my uh, green slimer. You know, at first when I saw this, I thought it was an alkalinity issue. You know, I thought my alkalinity was dropping too fast. So I was getting some bleaching. And this is on my green slimer. And right there, front and center, is a Asterina starfish. You can see where it has just destroyed my green slimer. And the problem is that this thing was doing great. It was already encrusting on my live rock. And this little guy is just going to town, eating away at my green slimer. Which is kind of crazy because I've never seen that. I've always known that they eat, you know, your corn lion algae. I know that they eat zoas and pallies and things like that. But I didn't know that they eat SPS, you know. And this SPS started off with a little tiny frag. It was growing really good. I'm glad it didn't get to the main, you know, stick right there. I had new sticks, branches popping out of the uh, encrusting plate. And look at it. Just one, a couple of Asterinas have destroyed and wreaked havoc to my uh, green slimer. So you let this video show you that these guys are not your friends. They are your foes. You need to pull them out, and the best way to do that is with harlequin shrimp. If you don't have a harlequin shrimp, you can do what I did. You just get some tweezers and just start plucking them out. But the best way is the natural predator, the harlequin shrimp. Now, they're pretty cool. They uh, swing their arms like back and forth, side to side, kind of like if they're going to dance or do something. But... Right now what I'm doing is temperature acclimating him and then I'll start drip acclimating him and then I'll just put him in the tank and let him 
you know, do his damage, destroy every single Asterina, because I know they're all over the place in my tank. These are just the ones that I've been able to see, but I'm pretty sure that I have a ton of them. Uh, the reason why I have a ton is because they'll break their arms off and then reproduce off of those arms, the Asterina starfish. So it's time to go ahead and dump the uh, Harlequin shrimp into the tank. Best method that I like to do is use a Kool-Aid jar, dump all the uh, LFS water and put it in the net and then just get the shrimp and put it inside the tank. So in a few weeks, my Asterina starfish problem should be solved. Uh, should not have any more of these little guys. And uh, I'll let you know how it's going in the uh, next couple of videos. It's still going to take a little bit of time. One, for this guy to get used to my tank. And two, for him to get hungry and just go to town. Uh, just destroying, wreaking havoc on these Asterinas. I, I really hate them that much, guys. I also had to pick up a frag. These ones look really good under the, uh, I think he had Kessels on them. Um, and hopefully they grow really nice in my tank. Pretty sure I have a whole bunch of Zoas, but uh, I couldn't resist not getting these. Um, I think he had a big colony of these things and he just chopped them up. And finally I was able to get a hand on them. Um, I'm thinking they're the uh, King Midas. If they are, let me know. If they're not, also let me know. Uh, interested that there's just too many names for uh, Zoas out there, but I try to learn them. Ended up getting a cool package from Amazon for my buddy Danny's Reef Tank. He has a YouTube channel. It's been with me since I barely had anybody watching my videos, um, and he's been around Danny's Reef Tank. All one word, go check him out. But he's also selling t shirts on Amazon, and this is a nice shirt that I picked up for free called Reef Life and it has a uh, clownfish right there. Really cool fish and a uh, nice quality shirt. Um, very thin and not too thick so it's just right guys. So check him out. If you haven't seen him, also subscribe to him. He's doing uh, pretty cool things and selling t-shirts along with YouTubing. Now I want to give an update on my buddy D. He had a uh, 400 gallon fish tank and he's recovering from that uh, accident that happened he's doing a lot better his insurance um for sure took care of him so he is going to go ahead and uh, start reefing again um which is great my hat's off to him you know round of applause because what he went through was terrible it was devastating you know the mess was it sucked but uh everything is on the up and up now he did lose a lot of corals and of course a lot of fish but uh Appreciate you all wishing him well, and uh, him, uh, he's gonna, he's hardcore, man. D is absolutely hardcore, because if something like that would have happened, uh, I don't think I would um, be back at it like him. Maybe like a 20 gallon and that's it. But uh, D is, the last time I was there, he was setting up his 300, and uh, 
everything is going to be okay. So thanks for your guys' uh, support for him. And uh, appreciate you guys watching.